Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of the manufacture phase. In this video, we will guide you through the most important functions, the array of tools, and the applications in the system menu. Before we guide you through the different buttons, let's take a quick look at the position of our restoration inside the block. In the manufacture phase, we also have a side panel with different options available, and we have already enabled the most important ones. The position of the windows can be changed via drag and drop at any time. At the top right, the window with the available tools is located. Since we will demonstrate their use a little later, we will move to the window below, Display Objects. The window is already in full view mode. Similar to the design phase, we can display or hide the upper or lower jaw and the minimum thickness, as well as the restoration. For example, you can check the sprue location by displaying the jaw in which the current restoration is located. This way you can avoid a placement directly on the proximal contact. The analyzing tools are located at the lower edge of the screen. By placing a check mark, the three options Cursor Details, Slice, and distance can be enabled. On the left side of the screen, the manufacture window is located, to which we will also return during our tutorial. To start, we enable the tool to position the sprue. With the help of the circular arrows, we can redefine the position of the sprue location. We tap one of the arrows to mark it in yellow and move the block in one of the two directions until the desired position has been achieved. As soon as you remove your finger from the touch screen or touchpad, the Serex software will calculate the new position. Next, we enable the Move tool. Now, different circular arrows are displayed. This tool is used the same way as described before. With the different arrows, the restoration can be repositioned inside the block. This tool is especially suited for polychromatic blocks. It makes it possible to place the restoration optimally within the color gradient of the block. We disable this tool again and display the upper jaw. Here it is easy to see that the sprue location is not located in the area of the contact point. Therefore, we hide the 3D model again. Next, we move to Cursor Details within the Analyzing Tools window. The moment you touch a point on the restoration, Different measurements are performed. The measurement results are displayed at the lower left edge of the screen. We disable this function and continue with the manufacture window. By clicking the down arrow, a drop down menu opens. Here, among other things, all connected devices are displayed. In our case, only the milling unit Serec MCXLPP is connected with the Serec PrimeScan AC. Alternatively, you can export the restoration at this point for the import into the InLab CAM software or save the data to a folder on your drive. To make it possible to access all the buttons, we switch to the full view. Now we can perform further modifications. For example, with some materials, the grinding process can be accelerated if desired. However, the surface will be a little rougher. For milling zirconium oxide, the option Fast is also available when the parameter Margin Thickness has been set to 100 micrometers or more. The processing mode Fine is selected by default and can be applied for all indications and materials. In conjunction with a four-motor Serec MCXL, you also have the option of selecting Extra Fine. For this, the milling unit must be equipped with specific instruments. This will extend the grinding times by approximately 100%. This option can only be enabled if using high final strength ceramics. Starting with Serex Software 4.6, the occlusal offset parameter is set in the manufacture phase. This setting only applies to the grinding result and is not available when milling. With this setting, material is either applied to or removed from the complete occlusal surface in the occlusal direction. The result is not visible in the software. 
Immediately below, you can determine the block size. Next, you see a link called Block Handling. Just one click will take you directly to the Settings submenu in the System menu, where you can immediately perform modifications, which are saved for both the current case as well as all future ones. The section Instruments gives you the option to select different grinding and milling sets depending on your material. Here you also find another link that takes you directly to the System menu and the submenu Instruments Configuration. Finally, in the Intaglio section, you can choose between Standard and Veneer mode. The Veneer mode ensures that the requirements for minimum wall strength will not be affected negatively when material is manipulated in narrow spaces that are smaller than the shape of the tool. This should only be used as a fallback solution in difficult situations with very small lumen, since this option may lead to results which initially do not fit optimally. We will go back once again to the bridge restoration and open our system menu. In the system menu, we will only elaborate on the most common functions available to us in the manufacture phase. If you are not going to send your restoration directly to a grinding and milling unit to get manufactured, you can save the case and access and send it at a later time. Just like in the previous phases, the model data can be sent to a partner lab via the Serona Connect portal. The Connect chat serves for the exchange with your dental technician. You will find detailed information regarding the export option in our video tutorial on the topic of Export Options with Serex Software 5. Now we will tap the button marked with plus one to the left of the restorations. Should your patient case encompass more than three restorations, all additional restorations can be selected via this button. Finally, the manufacture process can be initiated by tapping Start. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serec.